welcome to Mahaska County Conservation's Great Outdoors. I'm Laura DeCook, the naturalist for the Mahaska County Conservation Board, and today we are going to explore weather because, granted, this last week has been crazy with all of the, the winter weather we've had, the, the snow that we've had, and also the freezing cold temperatures. So let's go down to basics and talk about what starts the weather. Well, the first thing that you need to create weather is the sun, because the sun not only gives us light, but also creates heat on the earth. And everything on this earth's surface will begin to warm up and heat always rises. And so as heat rises, that motion of the, the molecules in the air that are warmer, they create wind. And the motion of the wind uh, helps push different pressures of air all around the world. So weather is happening constantly everywhere around the world. Um, and so there are different types of precipitation that we can have as far as weather goes. And precipitation just means the type of moisture that falls from the clouds because it's just a part of the water cycle that the earth goes through. And precipitation from the clouds um, can be anything from rain, sleet, snow, hail. Those are great examples of it. Um, and after the precipitation falls to the ground, it collects somewhere, maybe in the ocean, in a pond, a lake, um, in the yard, like the snow has, um, in the street, in a puddle. So somewhere the water ends up. Some of it even seeps down into the ground, into groundwater areas to be collected. Now, as we talked about, the sun heats up the earth. And when the surface warms up, um, so do the water molecules on the ground. And so they, they rise, they actually evaporate. And a good example of this is if you're cooking pasta on the stove, and when it's hot enough, you see steam rising from the pot, and that is evaporation. If you kept that going with the pasta, eventually it would dry up, wouldn't it? So um, the next phase in the water cycle is called condensation. So after the water molecules rise in the air, they condense or collect together, um, probably binding with something um, such as pollution or just uh, dirt particles, dust particles in the sky, and they bond together. And as more and more of these molecules form together, a cloud is formed. Um, and, and along with that, you also need high and low pressure within the sky uh, to allow that to happen. So an example of condensation would be like condensation on your mirror after you take a bath or shower. Um, you could write your name on the mirror or, or write yourself a note. Um, that would be condensation. So just as warm air rises, as the, the air cools off as it goes up higher into the atmosphere, the cold air starts to drop. So when you have warm air rising, cold air dropping, and that also plays into the effect of weather. Now, if there's a high and low pressure system that are colliding, um, and one example of that, if there's warm temperatures and, uh, and cool temperatures, there's always a chance of precipitation. So depending on how strong those pressures are as to how strong the system will be. So let's say in the spring and summertime are great examples when we have thunderstorms. So when the warm air rises, cool air drops, and we have a large storm system because the high and low pressures combine, um, it could form a tornado. Another thing that plays in the weather is called air pressure. And I have a really cool experiment to show you about this. So when um, there is high pressure in an area, the clouds are up high in the sky and it's usually a bright sunny day. When low pressure sets in, the clouds start filling in in the sky. So whenever high and low pressure meet, Clouds can be formed, and depending on the how uh, strong those are, um, 
you can create a stronger system. So real quick example of an experiment. You take an empty two liter bottle and put a few drops of, of rubbing alcohol inside the bottle. And I have a bicycle pump and I'm going to force air in. Right now, there is an equal amount of pressure inside the bottle and outside. So when the two brushers combine, the high and low pressure, they will create a cloud inside the bottle. Let's see how it works. And there you go, we have a cloud in the bottle. So that's a fun way to learn a little bit about weather in Iowa. Well, thanks for joining me today in Mahaska County Conservation's Great Outdoors. And let's get together at the same time next week. We'll see what I could stir up. Let's have a great day.